Artemis 9, you are under 30 units of fuel in the ascent stage, or the ascent stage, actually. Uh-oh. Ooh. Boy, what a not-so-graceful way to land. You know what? That was a perfect landing. That was a perfectly Kerbal landing. I'll need to figure out a way to get the spacecraft, uh, I don't know, to get back upright, but for now, let's take Neil on an EVA. Let's see, EVA report. The dust is getting everywhere. Look up and search the sky for Kerbin. Suddenly you feel very small. You start to say something dramatic and poignant about the plight of Kerbal kind in this grand universe. Only to be cut off by random radio chatter that the situation is nominal. I don't know. Whoop, 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 whoop. Okay, I guess this is how Rabbit Kind is going to make his first step on the moon. That's one small step for a bun, one giant binky for Rabbit Kind. One giant binky for rabbit kinds. Oh, and I bumped the spacecraft. So, I did it! I landed on the moon! I got Kerbals onto the moon. This, my friends, has got to be the cumulative of 25 Kerbal Space Program episodes that I posted on my YouTube channel so far. And it only took me a year and a half to get here. And actually, by space program standards, that's actually very quick. Let's see, take surface sample. Mm, this crater seems to have been a really nasty impact. Samples are heavier than normal. Anything else? Nope. Nope, just a nasty impact. I don't know if I'm going to be able to see. No. We're on the far side. Farsiders don't get to see Kerbin. I was walking on the moon one day in the merry, merry month of September. Well, I gotta say something that rhymes with May somehow, and since I can't say May because it's not May, I'm gonna have to say September. Oh, I know! I was walking on the moon one day in the merry, merry day of Friday. Okay, I'm a genius. Now, find the flag. I mean, I forgot to replace it with the rabbit Erican flag. Oh well. Uh, east far side crater, that's where I landed. Here, rabbits from the planet Rabbit World first set. Foot upon the moon, September 2019 AD. We came in peace for all rabbit kind. The dust is getting everywhere. Congratulations, Neil. Oh yeah, you are so cheerful and happy because you are the first Kerbal to set foot upon the moon. Or in Rabbit World's case, you are the first bunny to set foot upon the moon. Now let's go get your friends. Alright Buzz, so I'm gonna warn you, you're probably gonna tumble out of your spacecraft. Yep, just like that. And just like that, you spoiled, you, no, you soiled the first step on the moon. Soiled it, soiled it, soiled it, soiled it, soiled it. Alright Buzz, go run over to your Kerbal friend. Jump. Wee! Wee! All right, enough fooling around. Let's step right next to Neil. Actually, we're gonna use that. We're going to. Oh, I can use it to. Hmm. To the right, to the right, to the right, to the right, to the left, to the left, to the left, to the left. Now kick, now kick, now kick, now kick, now. Walking by yourself. Yeah, you're walking by yourself. Actually, I meant to do it to do the moonwalk, but... And finally, we have Michael Collins, who... Who stumbles out of his spacecraft ever so gracefully. But now he's going for a walk on the moon. And he turns up on the wrong side of the flag. Well, I suppose if you're not used to landing... 
on to landing on the moon. You were meant to be a command module pilot. Alright, you guys. Smile and say cheese. There we go. We got a nice picture of you on the moon. Want to try out some stunts, you say? Go for it. Oh, Buzz is going to try to jump the spacecraft. Oh, doing some parkour skills. Oh, that was a good try, Buzz. Go again. Jump. Whoa. Come on. Oh, there's the climb feature. What? Oh no. Buzz! What the? What's with the slow mo walking? Buzz! You know what? Let's try a safer, more reasonable way of jumping the spacecraft. Uh oh. No buzz is going down the side of the hill. Oh, you want to stay there? Alright. Okay, so Michael Collins is going to return to the spacecraft. He's not going to be so as graceful as he was. And I guess he's just gonna go back in the ship. Neil, have you anything to do? Yeah, call Buzz to come back over here. I have an idea. Nope. Clonk. You know what, Buzz? I think that's enough. You should stop injuring yourself. Okay, grab it. Board it. Let's grab Neil. Alright, Neil, you're ready to go? Alright. Alright, there's only one problem. How do we get back up? Uh... Neil, come back out. Oh. That didn't work. Yep, soldier! You know what? Fortunately, I think I'm gonna have to hack gravity. You know what? I'll be right back, guys, once I get the spacecraft upright. So the crew got a good night's rest, well, good rabbit world night's rest. They are now pumping fuel back into the main tanks in preparation for launching. As you can tell over there, we just had sunset. And crew, are you ready for launch? Roger. So these guys are ready for launch, so let's go in T-10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, we've ditched the stay. Ignition sequence start. Three, two, one, zero. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. 